How's it going, PD team? Today, we're going to be building off of the previous video tutorial on making a directional mask and doing a directional mask 2.0. The idea and inspiration of this video tutorial comes from subscriber PeacefulMan2196 and he was just wondering if we could add an angle to it like how moss grows on rocks where it's kind of sloped at a different angle and we want to add some sliders to it so we can change that angle at any point. No problem. That's what this video is. Thanks for your support and suggestion. Let's look into it. Where we can control the angle of the slope so that we can have effects like moss which grows in the absence of light. Moss will grow in my part of the world facing north and to an, a downward angle. So we can do that with this example. What you can see here, we can flip the direction like before, vertical up and down. Then we've got east and west. So you can see it's moving west now. Click this, what goes east. Then I can check the checkbox for south and north. So you can see now it's going north. Uncheck it, we're going south. And we can do variations of it where we blend between them to get uh, angular motion. And of course this can be animated. We also have a control for the noise. So I can influence the noise, add different noise scale. We can add some contrast to it. And then of course the gradient that affects how much of that slope angle is affecting. So that's Directional Mask 2.0. Let's jump into it and see how it's made. I've got everything set up so we can get moving quicker on this tutorial. Basically we have the state node which goes into our vector change range and then the color splitter going into a ramp and I've left some space for the new nodes that we're going to be adding. We know that the output green is the vertical up and down, red is left and right, and blue is forward and backwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to need a ramp and this first one, we're going to start off with doing up and down. So I'm going to type in up, down. We'll plug in the green into the up and down. And then we're going to duplicate it. And we're going to do west, east. And that's going to be the red channel. And there's a reason I flipped the up and down in the west and east, which I'll talk about in a second. And then the next one, which is our forward and backwards, which is going to be south, north. And because we're using checkboxes to enable and disable these, these are actually backwards. Plug in the blue into this ramp and we've separated it into three different angles. So we're gonna not change these gradients here. We're leaving them to their default. We're just converting these into something that we can adjust in a little bit. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in a layer and we're gonna plug in the first one into mask or layer one. We'll delete the mask, delete the mask here. And we're gonna need a third layer. Bring the controls by command clicking the dots. We'll bring this one into number two and this one into number three. So it's important that you have the up and down as the first layer. And the reason for that is what we're gonna do is we're gonna want this as our base and then these over these overwrite that to do the blend. So I'm just turning it down and we're not using any blend modes in this layer. Now I'm gonna plug this into our ramp, which is going Going to be basically our remap so our gradient remap so this will be our final output so like we did in the previous tutorial you're going to move this up and down to show how much of that you want so let's try this out we're going to try the east and west and you can see it's going west so if i want to flip the east and west we just go in here to the invert and now when i drag it over it's now going to east Pretty cool. Let's try the next one. So by default, it's going north, but you notice something's happening and it's moving upwards. And the reason being is in the change range, we need to get the output to be all three axes. So we're gonna bring this back to number one. So that is the Z output to set to positive one. And now when we try this out, you can see it's going forward, which is south. And then we'll click the invert. And now it's gonna go north. So that's really it. So what I did is I went in here and added a checkbox Boolean to each of these. So they each get their own checkbox for enabling and disabling. And then also the sliders for this. 
and I'm doing just the west and the east and the south and the north. Um, this one you don't need to change, you just leave it on full. And that's kind of it. That's how we work it. So it's much easier to put sliders and group this together. So what we can do is we can just take all these, right click and say group nodes, or you can do Alt-G. Directional mask 2.0, come in here and do a value. And we'll do up, down. And this one's going to be a Boolean. Do it three times, plug this in here. So all three of these are up here. I like making them red. So I'm gonna take this and call this West, East, South, North. Now we can take these two, command click. Change it to float, plug this one into the mask right here, plug this into the next mask, and there we go. So now we have sliders for both of these. Now what I can do is I want to enable these on the root here when I select the node. To do that is rather easy. We're just going to start in order. So I'm going to do up and down and I'm just clicking the dot and then letting go and say add new input. And we'll do the west and south, west and east, sorry, add new input. Now we'll do the controller, south and north boolean and the slider. There we go. So now if I come in here, you can see we have those. Now our controls are not correct. So what we need to do is we'll right click in here, go to edit resource and we need to adjust these values. So the floats, these guys right here, I think we can select both of them. Yeah, we can. We'll change it to percentage. Default value will set to zero. Step will set to one and we'll add a range slider to it. And there we go. We can now see a depiction and and I like taking and adding at the very bottom, you'll see there's a separator. We can separate the first checkbox, which is our up and down. We'll add another separator between the east and the west and the south. And there you go. You can close it. And there you go, there's our sliders. So now I don't have to go inside and I can change this like so. If I flip the angle, like start from the bottom, just flip it. And we can't see it in that direction. There's the underside, so I can do forward facing under. And that's it. I hope you found this useful. Directional Mask 2.0. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content. Thanks for your support.